The Grand Slam ratings are in and once again AEW Collision for the second week running has found a spike in viewership. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling. I don't know what is happening here but Collision now, two weeks in a row, is going up. It is heading in the right direction. Are the sickles coming back? It looks that way. The sickles are coming back. Now don't get too excited. It's still a pretty poor rating that Collision got. However, a couple of weeks ago... They were under 300k, they were doing, I think it was like 270, 260, something like that. Then last week they went up about 100k almost, I think it was like 80 odds. And then this week they've almost went up another 100k. So in the past two weeks, Collision's almost, I say almost, not quite, but almost found 200,000 in viewership, which is definitely... A step in the right direction, considering that show was going down, 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 setting. A collision for a while there was setting like new records every single week for being the lowest rated show. But the past two weeks, you know, they've they've stopped the rot and they're heading in the right direction. So collision from September 28, 2024, it was a special edition, AEW Collision Grand Slam. The rating was 435,000, 435,000 viewers, which was up 25% from last week's 347,000, so up 88,000 viewers, and it is the highest viewership and key demo since August 2024 the 24th edition, so, I mean, it, all right, not much to really celebrate, it's the highest collision in, in five weeks, okay, it's, it's better than nothing, but here, it, it's better to be celebrating the highest collision in five weeks than to be, than, than to be mourning the, um, the lowest rated collision of all time, so, I mean, it's a win for Tony Khan, it's not a big win, it's not like he's blown his opposition away, it's not like he's won by 10 touchdowns, it's more like a, a field goal, it's like a field goal in overtime, but either way, Tony Khan, he'll probably be happy with this news. If you look at the key demo, the 18 to 49, uh, they did pretty well on that too, going up 8% from last week. Last week was a 0 0.12. This week they did a 0 0.13. Okay, it's just one. It's went up 0 0.01, but at least it's went up. You know, that's the, that's the important thing here. So, yeah, we're seeing it going up. If you compare Collision... The last four trailing weeks, their average rating is 301,000. So they're up 44% in viewership based over the last four weeks on average. And in the key demo, the last four weeks on average, they did a 0 0.10. This week, they did a 0 0.13. That puts them 30% up over the past four weeks on the key demo. So, yeah, when you factor in the viewership and key demos, it's been a good week for Collision. They still want to go higher. I mean, I think that's still way too low of a number, but at least they're... They're up, at least they're, they're improving and they're heading in the right direction and that's got to mean something because for a long time there, it looked like Collision was down and out and I didn't see much of a recovery but they have recovered so we'll have to wait and uh, see what they can do next week now and see if they can continue this. Can they make it three weeks in a row with growth and good growth? We'll have to wait and see but let's, let's look at the clips then. Number one clip from Collision is in first place, could the AEW Trio World Champs BCC coexist versus private party and commander 210k just not very interesting is it could the AEW trio world champs coexist I mean who cares who cares I think the longer collision goes the, the less that Tony Khan cares about it you can see that he just puts everything into dynamite he's trying to make dynamite good even though he's kind of failing at that but at least you can see that on dynamite they bring out the top stars, they, they, they try and, you know, push their top people. On Collision, man, nothing, it's a dead show. It really is. But here, the rate went up, so congratulations to them. Anyway, second place, with 182,000 views, Soraya Rules match, Jamie Hater clashes with Soraya. This was a hardcore match, so probably why it's in second place. Some people like Jamie Hater, I personally don't really care. Third place, we have Hangman Adam Page versus Jeff Jarrett. In a wild strap match, that's got 154k in views. So uh, Jeff Jarrett, they're still doing okay. But then again, is 154,000 views in three days okay? Probably not. Fourth place, Continental Champion Eliminator match. Kashuki Okada versus Sammy Guevara, 117k. 
that's in fourth place and then we drop under the 100k mark in fifth place we have Minoru Suzuki steps up to the TNT champion Jack Perry's open challenge that's got 66k we then have um, the conglomeration taking on Jericho, Big Bill and Keith that's actually, oh, this is higher than Jack Perry it's got 83k but either way still a poor number uh, then in seventh place we have must see Lucha 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 action. Uh, the Beast Mortalis versus Hologram versus Dragalisto 62k. Eighth place we have MXM Collection present a fashion walk. This got 58k. And then in ninth place we have House of Black's Brody King faces Action Andretti 52k. Nobody gives a shit about these guys right here. And that's it. That is your clip. So ninth place, last place, Action Andretti versus Brody King. It wasn't Action Andretti the guy that Jericho claimed he made a star? Jericho was claiming that he he propelled this guy's career and that this guy was going to be great now because of him and he created another brand new star for AEW, a guy that AEW could push to the top. I mean, what's happened? What's happened? How can Jericho be so dumb and delusional or just an outright liar? How can he think just because he lost to Action Andretti he was creating a megastar? He hasn't created nothing. He's created absolutely nothing. So guys, there you go. That's the fuse then from the Collision clips. Overall though, I mean, it's, it's a good week for Collision because they have impressed in the ratings. They have got up to 400 and what, 35k did I say? So, you know, it's a step in the right direction. Can they get back over 500? I think that will be interesting. Well, let's check actually. What was the last time they did over 500k? Um, viewership. When did they last do over 500k? Collision hasn't done... 500k since mid-May. Mid-May. So, mid-May. Holy shit, that's a long time ago. We're in October. October, September, August. Jesus Christ. Almost six months since Collision did 500k. Can they continue to go in the right direction? If they gain... what The amount that they've gained over the past two weeks, it's like 80-odd k in both weeks. If they can gain that next week, they will be over 500k. But can they gain it? This was a big show. This was a promoted show. This was Grand Slam. Next week's just going to be, I'm assuming, a throwaway edition of Collision. Or, or, or will they do like a five-year anniversary of AEW style type? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, guys. But that's it. Catch you in the next one. Make sure you leave a like and comment. Till then, though. Peace.